Namaste, Satnam. Welcome to I Am Woke. I am your host, Emelina Calder. In this video, I'm gonna jump into my fasting protocol, give you some fasting tips, and tell you how to make fasting easy. If you're new, welcome. My name is Emelina. I am a cosmic modern shaman, a high performance coach, a spiritual mentor, a personal branding coach. On my channel, you'll find monthly energy updates and energy updates on the new moons and full moons that I channel from the Akashic Records and from Source Consciousness through Divine Mother. And you'll find loads of personal and spiritual development tips. If you're into any of that and all of that, please go ahead and subscribe below. Tap that like button, comment, share, tap the bell for notifications, all the things. If you missed the last video in this series, you can go ahead and watch it clicking the card or the link in the description below called how to raise your vibrational frequency with fasting. Now, if you're focused on raising your vibrational frequency so you can have a better life with better experiences, I have a free shamanic guided healing meditation that I think you're going to love. You can catch the link in the description below. Now let's jump right in. Raise your vibrational frequency with fasting. Everybody thinks it's wildly difficult and hard and for sure, it can be. It's always been easy for me and I don't think I'm the exception. I've been doing this for 16 years and I'm ready to share the goods. So here are my six key steps for an easy fast. Number one, meet yourself where you are. Don't get ahead of yourself. If you're on a typical American diet and you jump into a water fast, it's gonna be a nightmare. It'll be crazy because there are addiction patterns in the body to carbs and to sugar and caffeine, and that stuff will drive you crazy if you water fast. That's too drastic of a jump. Meet yourself where you are, and you'll know. You'll know for yourself because it'll be like what feels right in the land of fasting for you. You want to ease into fasting. If you do have a heavy carb, heavy sugar, heavy caffeine diet, it would be smart to take the week ahead of your fast to go vegan and to eat specifically a paleo vegan diet. No dairy, no gluten, no carbs. You can have slow carbs like sweet potatoes, lentils, mung beans, salad, sauteed veggies, lots of fruit, like do it up, have fun, lots of smoothies. That's how I would lead into a fast if your diet is not typically like the, the cleanest. That week will allow you to ease into your fast because you're doing a gentle cleanse on your entire body on your digestive system, on your nervous system, and you're gonna gain a ton of benefits even just from that. Now, what I just described is my typical diet, so I don't generally ease into a fast. I jump in because I'm going from that place. Now, there are a lot of different ways to fast. Start with where you're comfortable. You can fast through elimination, just eliminating sugar. Try that for a week. I'm gonna eliminate sugar and fast from sugar for a week. You can fast from carbs. You can fast from caffeine. You can fast from alcohol, or you could choose to do a juice and smoothie cleanse with some homemade nut milks. All of that is an easy way to start entering and jumping into this process of fasting and gaining all the benefits I've described. The point is to have fun with it. You know, have fun with your food, have fun with your fast. One of the cleanses I love the most is where I will eat apples and nectarines and strawberries and put the strawberries in the blender with carrot juice as a smoothie. I'll do that for a week, like all week. And they're like my favorite foods. So anyway, just think about what you would enjoy eating on a fast or a cleanse and then give yourself a lot of it. Allow yourself to feel satiated, allow yourself to feel cleansed and whole and like you're feeding your body the nutrition it needs as well. Nobody's gonna die from cutting out dairy. Nobody's gonna die from not having sugar or caffeine for a week. Go with the flow, enjoy the parts that you can enjoy. Even for some of you, this might sound crazy, but it's really about like the pleasure behind it. If you can get behind your own pleasure and enjoy your, your method of fasting, you'll enjoy the process. So you'll engage with it in a really beautiful way, which will have more profound effects for your own emotional, mental, spiritual, physical clarity. So when I'm feeling like cranky about my fast and I want something that just feels really good, Good. I will take some cacao powder and mix it with stevia and I will mix that with hot water and make myself like a hot cocoa and I'll have that at night and literally all day I'll be like I will drink water through the day just looking forward for that hot that hot chocolate because that makes me happy 
and that's enough dopamine to keep me on the fast. So you can like kind of play around with little things like that too. The point is experiment, meet yourself with where you are, have fun. This does not need to be a tumultuous process. Detoxing is difficult enough as it is. We don't need to make it any harder on ourselves. Tip number two is depending on how intense the fast is, you're gonna wanna make room in your schedule for it. The more intense the fast, you're gonna wanna clear your schedule. So for example, like a water fast, you're probably gonna wanna completely clear your schedule because it's gonna leave you it with depleted energy during the fast. If you're doing a fast that's a little bit easier on your body, then just make room for it. Like schedule bigger breaks in the day, schedule time to pop into nature, to meditate, to get with yourself a little bit more than usual because this is a detox process. And remember to go with the flow. Tip number three is set a really powerful intention and couple it with prayer around what it is that you wanna change in your life. Here's the thing about fasting. When your energy is not preoccupied with digestion through the day, a lot of energy is released and is present and making room for spirit. That is the perfect time to be in sacred prayer. Pray in the morning, pray in the afternoon, pray in the evening. Your prayers will carry more energetic power and magnetism because your body has more energy available to go in the direction of the prayer, in the direction of the manifestations, in the direction of the healing and in the change that you wanna create. Prayer paired with fasting creates miracles. Miracles in health and miracles anywhere else in your life and the lives of the people around you based on what your clear, high vibrational intentions are from love and from faith. The fasting paired with prayer creates the alchemy to move a lot of energy and momentum in your awareness, in your consciousness, in your environment, in the universe, in source meeting you with new, with what it is that you're looking to call into your life. It's a decision to take all of the energy that typically is with digestion and move it into the direction of the prayer. And this, this truly can work miracles, you guys. Like as a fast example for you guys, I lost 60 pounds in like 18 months. And of course I did some cardio and some exercise, um, a little bit of weightlifting and stuff. But honestly, I did a lot of fasting, conscious fasting, and it really just melted off. And I continually do a good amount of fasting with the intentions of clearing my body of any of the trauma that I had taken on in childhood, allowing the somatic release. I did a two week water fast this year where I had set the intention and the prayer to release any of the trauma, the pain and the struggle from the cells of my body and transmute them into joy to replace any struggle cell any traumatized cell with a cell that could express joy and healing and awareness. And that was huge for me. And I've been reaping the benefits all year. If you have any illness in your body, you can direct the healing, the prayer into, I pray that this is resolved. I pray that this is healed miraculously. I pray for this healing. Tip number four is keep your self-care at an all-time high. Energy levels are for sure gonna fluctuate, whether you're doing a water fast or a smoothie cleanse or any or all of the in-between. You wanna be really kind and really gentle on yourself. When your energy does dip, take a nap. Be gentle, speak kindly to yourself. Emotions likely will come up. Things will get stirred up out of the lower levels of your psyche and you'll actually be doing some level of a somatic release. Allow them to move through. Don't judge the emotions, feel them. You know, allow them to process through, you know, whether they take 90 seconds or 30 minutes and then it'll be done. It'll be worked through. Go take another nap, journal it out. Don't judge your thoughts. Don't judge your feelings. Just be here for the journey. Be here for the process. Know that it's working. Know that you're elevating yourself. Know that you're raising your vibrational frequency so that you can create a better life. Know that you're cleaning house. You're taking out the trash out of your cells, out of your psyche, out of your emotional body. Be super patient. Detox symptoms are real. These detox symptoms are also ascension symptoms. When you start to raise your vibration, there is a level of like sickness that is released in the process. That's what ascension symptoms are. This could look like emotional outbursts. It could look like headaches. It could look like an achy body, like it feels like you worked out really hard, but you didn't. Your body is cleansing itself. Your mind is getting clearer. 
your emotional body, your subtle body is getting healthier and wanting to release that which no longer serves you, allow it, be gentle. It is a detox process. If you feel sick, that's okay. Just move through it and be so hyper attentive to your self care. Some things that I like to do, go to the beach if you are near a beach. Go to the Korean spa or any other spa. Go to a place where you can get baths, different hot baths, even a cold plunge and oscillate between a jacuzzi and a cold plunge, which will help you process the energy through more deeply as well. Go into nature, go for a light hike, go for long walks, meditate, get into stillness. Self-care will help you clear the way for the clarity that's gonna come after your fast. Getting into nature will help distract yourself from the negative thinking, the negative patterns and behaviors, keeping you in prayer and connecting you to your sacred body temple. I highly recommend getting into nature, getting into the forest, getting to the beach, getting out into the hills, wherever it is you live. Um, if you can get out into nature, that's gonna do a lot um, to nourish your spirit and nourish your energy, help you ground. You can do active grounding practices as well. Take your shoes off and go bare feet, stand in the grass or on the ground and your feet will naturally start to ground with the earth and exchange energy and frequency with the earth. Now tip number five is supplement your fast with high value nutrients. Much of the struggle of fasting is your body trying to figure out how it's going to reorganize your energy and get the nutrients that you normally would get from food when you're not eating or not consuming the way you normally consume. So if you think about this proactively and give your body the vital nutrients that it needs to be stable, it'll take the edge off of the fast. It'll make it feel a lot easier because your body will realize that it has permission to clean house, but it also has access to the vital nutrients that you need to survive and live on the day-to-day -day basis without having to go into your bones or wherever else it goes in order to take that nutrients from places it's been stored because you're supplementing it into your body now. So if you give your body nutrients, it'll feel so much easier than just drinking water. I like to do a few different things. First off, I take trace minerals in my water. Every time I'm drinking water, there are trace minerals in them. I also make what's called sole, which is a concoction of just pure pink Himalayan salt and water. You add more salt in the water than the water can actually absorb. So if you guys can see, there's salt at the bottom of this. And this creates another mineralization that you can take in your water. I just take a little wooden spoon and dip it in, take a teaspoon and I put it in my water with my trace minerals and I know I'm good to go. I also love to take a dose of BCAAs or amino acids, amino proteins, or I have this amazing um, next level protein powder called Power from Gina Health. This contains all of the amino acids that the body needs to create protein. Very easy to digest, has like probably next to no calories. And I wanna show you guys too, the minerals I take are bioidentical minerals. It's the recharge from Gina. And my body literally craves this stuff, whether or not I'm fasting, but specifically on a fast. There was one day where I skipped it in the morning and by the afternoon I was like, why am I so angry? <laughs> like, what is going on? I needed to check myself and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to take my, my trace minerals today. And these are the ones that I take. So <laughs> I took the trace minerals and then like my body just, I, I felt it because I have such a subtle attunement and awareness to my own physical form that once I took the trace minerals, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so much more relaxed. My body was just like, where am I gonna get my nutrients today? There's a certain amount of fuel for the body that it needs just to function. And what I find is the trace minerals function as doing that. They give you what you need to function so that your body's not stressed out on your fast. And then something else I love from Gina is their upgrade supplement. And this is a glutathione supplement that helps you essentially support the liver, detox the body. It is the antioxidant of all antioxidants. It supports deep immune function and removes any like deep toxicities or heavy metals from the body, among many other things. You guys can just do a little research on glutathione. And if you guys are interested in the Gina Health products, they generously gave me a 15% off coupon for all of you guys that I'm gonna leave in the description below. Something else I take that is a core fundamental um, aspect of something I cannot be without 
daily in general, but especially fasting, is I take a 24 karat gold colloidal water and I have this brand, but I've taken several and they're, they've all worked for me. A little bit of colloidal gold in the morning and a little bit in the evening before I go to bed. And that allows my brain to have the electricity that it needs to function clearly, even though I'm going through a detox. Now, those are my core fundamental non-negotiable supplements that I take while I'm fasting, especially water fasting. But I'm gonna show you guys some other supplements that I enjoy to take while I'm fasting that I think are helpful as well. I also love to add in liquid chlorophyll. I'll throw a few drops of this into my water as I'm drinking it with my trace minerals. Not an end all be all, but liquid chlorophyll has like the same structure, I think, as the hemoglobin of the blood in the body. So it allows a really fluid nutrient detox process. I'm not a scientist. Don't ask me to explain all these things. At some point I researched it and I feel the difference. So I use liquid chlorophyll. I also take cell food. You just throw eight drops of cell food into your water. And this is an oxygen supplement that gives your cells what they need to do with whatever it is that they do. I also take um, B propolis which is like either this or I'll take bee pollen. But right now I have propolis with me. It's just like a little powder. You just take a tiny little bit every morning and it helps heal your body. I also take silica in my water as a supplement to help my cells. And I'll give you guys a couple more things. Something else I love to do um, when you're fasting you can restore your gut health pretty easily as well by just mixing a little bit of raw, unfiltered, organic apple cider vinegar in with your water in the morning, and I drink this. This will help restructure the, the pH balance in your body and in your microbiome. It'll create really healthy bacteria in your gut. I'll try to leave some links in the description below for some of these supplements for you guys to find. Okay, tip six is mix in some other different beverages to give yourself variety so you don't get bored with water. So like I mentioned, I like to take trace minerals in my water. The Gina Bioidentical minerals have a little bit of a flavor that I enjoy. Like it's just like a really light, nice, it almost tastes like a light tea. I also love to drink herbal teas through the day. Something else you can do is squeeze lemons into your water and make like a lemonade, <laughs> a lemon water, but switch it up. Here, with all of my experience, here's what I found. If you straight water fast and just drink water, the body has like a kickback around it. It gets like really agitated. But if you can switch it up and add trace minerals into the water, add lemon into the water, add the sole salt into the water, add a little apple cider vinegar into the water, that the body really naturally just takes it. And there's no like kickback. There's no like force from your body being like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. Like it just takes the edge off. So I like to give myself a variety of beverages. Also, depending on your commitment level, um, I love to add green tea. Like I am generally trying to get some work done while I'm fasting. So I'll drink mate in the morning, which is a green tea, or I'll drink like a jasmine green tea or essentia to just give me enough energy to get going. Of course, these have a little bit of caffeine. Again, this depends on your commitment level, but this is what works for me. The keys to all of this is remember to listen to your body. It is teaching you, you can trust it, trust it to release, trust it to give you direction, trust it for the clarity that's coming, journal anything that's coming up, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, how you feel even day to day. You'll start to really get into the rhythms of your body. You're also gonna need a lot more sleep. On day three, I slept for 12 hours. Day four, nine. I've been sleeping for nine to 10 hours a night because your body's in a real detox cleansing mode. It's in repair mode, it needs more sleep. Meditate through the day to get clear. Allow yourself to be still and to feel that stillness from yourself. Feel free to do some pranayama or some breath work. I've been doing breath work every every morning and a meditation every evening as well as a meditation during the afternoon for my current five day water fast. And ultimately go with the flow, enjoy the glow up, enjoy your process. If you love this video, go give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Have you tried fasting? Have you ever done a water fast? How did you feel? Do you have any questions for me on fasting? You can add any questions down in the comments below. Again, I just did a five day water fast. I'm on day six. I did a two week water fast earlier in the year. 
and they feel really clarifying for me. They clear up any skin issues, they clear up some of my issues around allergies that I have. I get spiritually clear, I get really mentally clear. If I've been processing a lot spiritually and I go into spiritual burnout, it clears the spiritual energy for me so that I can actually be present in my life without feeling like my nervous system is constantly on edge, about to get sick which are the ascension symptoms that come from expanding your consciousness more rapidly than you can process. So that's my experience. I find it pretty enjoyable. I'm also very much looking forward to my smoothie bowl that I'm gonna make um, probably right after I'm done with this video. If you loved this video, I think you'd also love my video about eliminating negative thoughts. And as a final note, if you guys love my vibe and what I do, then I would love to invite you to work with me in any of the ways that I offer. I'm gonna leave a bunch of links in the description below. I have a program called Break the Mold. It's an 11 week online course with 24 hours of video content and curriculum that walk you step by step to breaking the mold of what made you. It's a radical authenticity, incredible confidence, self-worth and self-trust program, teaching you how to break out of your past and your past conditioning, your past patterns, and break free into your limitless potential, creating a life and a future that you wanna create. I also have a program called Akashic Records Immersion, where I teach you how to open up, read, and intuit your own Akashic Records. It's a personal development, spiritual development, and psychic development program, where you connect your own higher self, your spirit guide, your own Akashic Records, which are the blueprint to the soul, teach you how to unlock your psychic gifts in a really, really safe and beautiful way. If you love meditations, I published a five and a half hour meditation album called the I Am Success Meditations, which are shamanic healing guided meditations, which are really activations that work on your subtle body and actually help you to reprogram your energy system, helping you to tap into your subconscious and change your limiting beliefs and thoughts and ideas and embrace the reality of what it is to be a success, wealth and success. If you're looking for a cosmic Sherpa to walk by your side through your deep inner personal transformation, I also have the Transformation Accelerator program, which is one-on-one -on -one mentorship for six to 12 months. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, guys, enjoy, and I'll see you soon.